Can we dive right into this up. new polling? I, yeah, I okay, guess so. There's so, so much to, to cover interrupted. today. Yeah, the new polling. Uh, but not today. Good. Okay. Yeah. General election polling shows a nine-point swing toward President Joe Biden. In the latest oh. national survey from Reuters and Ipsos, Biden leads Trump by four points, 41 to 37 percent. It's within the poll's margin of error, but marks a shift from January when Trump led Biden, 43 to 38 percent. 64 percent of registered voters also say the charges Trump faces in his upcoming hush money trial are either very or somewhat serious. Also, if he's convicted of a felony by Election Day, 24 percent of Republicans and 13 percent of current Trump voters say they would not cast their ballots for the presumptive GOP nominee. That could be a little bit why they keep trying to delay this. Mm -hmm. uh, every day they come up with a new attempt that is rejected. So if the trial starts Monday, that's jury selection. There will be more, I predict there will be more attempts to delay through yeah. jury selection. No such luck. Uh, <laughs> Willie, um, you know, we always talk about trend lines. And, and the trend lines are all breaking Joe Biden's way. I mean, if you look at the top of Drudge, if you're Trump, you probably would jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. I mean, because he's like MAGA meltdown and talking about all the polls breaking in, in Joe Biden's way. Uh, but they are. I mean, the trend lines are, are pretty strong for Biden coming out of the, again, still coming out of the State of the Union. Yeah, if you look back at that first, the, the, the overall number, you see Joe Biden since January within the margin of error kind of at this at the same spot if we can look at that first one there it is mm -hmm. uh, what you also see though on the bottom is erosion for Donald Trump and Donnie that's part of what the, the Biden campaign is counting on which is you see a little bit more of Joe Biden yeah. you look at the data you look at the numbers inflation number wasn't great yesterday we'll get to that but but really the more Donald Trump is out there, the more he's railing, the more he's in a courtroom, the more you saw it in this number about the hush money trial, which is also an election interference trial, the more the public sees of Donald Trump, the Biden campaign hopes, the less it wants to see him back in the White House. Yeah, and something in that poll just is something that I just want to reiterate for people out there who say to me, you know, this hush money thing, it's good for Donald Trump. It makes him look like the victim. No, seeing him sit in a courtroom every day and seeing him every day and in the hearing. news and hearing is not helping him. I, I, I could never understand that logic, how somebody who is under indictment for a felony charge and is about to face trial, somehow that's good for them. So it's not. And the numbers show that. And if you look at, and by the way, in this trial, he will be convicted. I don't think there's any question about it. And if you listen to that, that spins off about a quarter, a quarter of the Republicans. That's a big number. Yeah, and, and, and Mara, it is, it is again, a constant, a constant drumbeat, not just of what Donald Trump is saying, but for the first time, what the Biden campaign is saying about Trump. It, if you still go down X or if you go down threads, I mean, I think the Biden campaign is, is putting out Donald Trump's own words like every 15 minutes. It's brutal. And every single one of those those messages, I mean, any swing voter would look at and cringe. Well, Americans have a tendency to romanticize the recent past. And so I think now that they're seeing more of Donald Trump, and in this case from the Biden campaign, mm -hmm. they're remembering just how awful that presidency was. And there's also just a slice of Americans who don't follow politics daily the way that we right. obsessively do. And now it's dawning on them Oh, he's not he's not going away. He's going to be he's the presumptive Republican nominee. And now they're really looking at their two choices. They're not looking at, you know, Joe Biden and maybe somebody else. They're thinking, oh, it's going to be Joe Biden or this guy again. Yeah. I don't think so. And then the other element of this case in Manhattan is really this is let's remember about hush money payments to mm -hmm. cover up. Uh, you know, allegedly this affair he had with Stormy Daniels. Sounds so, quaint at this point. Sounds <laughs> quaint. It sounds quaint. But <laughs> again, I just think he's in court because he was covering up bad behavior about the way he treats women at a time when American women across the country, our rights are under uh, assault, really, yeah. uh, on abortion. And I think that those things are starting to converge because people are starting to look at Donald Trump and say, I don't trust him. Yeah. And he's a crook. Yeah. You know, you know, Jonathan, there may be some people out there that are a little bit surprised by the numbers, the trend lines that are breaking in Joe Biden's direction. 
the Biden campaign, the Biden White House would be last on that list because even a couple of months ago when everybody was freaking out, Democrats wanted to jump off of buildings. They're like, ah, he's not on the ballot. When people realize we're running against him, we'll be fine. Dare we call it Joe Mentum? We probably shouldn't do no. uh, no. that. Wow. That's what they're wow. calling it. Uh, but they, they have said that Inflation this is what they. Three and a half percent. Yeah, that's the problem. Not yet. That's the problem. Yeah. So that, that's, I was getting to that in a second. Right now, this is what the Biden campaign had forecasted, though. That they, they figured they knew that the, the president was going to take some hits during the primaries. Anger about Gaza, young voters, the uncommitted ballots mm -hmm. that we saw in Michigan and Wisconsin. They, they factor that in. They know they're still going to have to deal with that. But as you said a, a moment ago, the more Americans saw Trump, they'd be turned off by him. That's been their theory of the case all along. A as the Biden campaign steadily rolls out with huge fundraising advantages, opening up offices in battleground states across the country, um, pro promoting infrastructure and other bills, although some in the president's inner circle think they're doing too much of that. We noted Ron Klain yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and n n on being uncertain, though, what the criminal cases would lead. No one knows for sure what will happen. By the way, what was the Ron Klain thing? It's just a bridge, really? So, he claimed, yeah, Klain gave a speech the other night saying that the president has been too focused on infrastructure, and that was his flippant way of doing it about bridges, and saying that he needs to be more focused on consumer prices and costs. And yesterday, the inflation number suggests that maybe he has a point, but I think the White House pushback to that was immediate and said, well, look, the infrastructure, first of all, A, that's something Americans need, and B, it showed that we can get things done in a bipartisan fashion. That should be part of our message. We need to sell our record of accomplishment. We can't just say, hey, we're not Donald Trump. But they're not Donald Trump. And I think to Mara's point, the abortion headlines of the last week or so as well just really strengthens Brutal. the president's case here. And it's and we're seeing Trump flail. We yeah. saw it again yesterday trying to explain yeah. what he means. Yeah. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.